welcome to Crazy But Not Dangerous with Shorty Vaughn. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my home. Welcome to the kitchen. This is where the magic happens. And uh, I think my husband and my little dog Pigpin would agree. And you'll see him running around here like a maniac and probably hear him barking because he's just a little bit nutso himself. But boy, we sure do love him. On this channel, what I would really like to talk about is gracious frugality. It is a philosophy, of, a philosophy of mine. Hello, a philosophy of mine. Um, it has nothing to do with how much money you have, what you own, what you don't own, where you live, which bank account looks like, which pantry's got in it or doesn't have in it. Um, it's about being thankful for the things that you do have, to having respect for the things that you have, for taking care of those things, for taking care of the people in your home, in your community, in your family, um, with respect and courteousness and kindness. And boy, couldn't we all just use a little bit more of that today? So I hope my generosity of spirit comes through and inspires you to touch the lives of people in your neck of the woods. And I hope you hang around on the channel. Have a great time. I plan on it. And we'll do all kinds of fun and weird things. Um, a lot of people say that I'm crazy. Maybe it is. Maybe I am. But maybe it is just a lack of inhibitions and inability to talk to and about anything. So follow me along. Let's see where this goes. It might be fun. It might be crazy. It might be wild. Or it might just be us making coffee and chit-chatting about whatever. Again, welcome my lovelies. I'm glad to have you. And think about subscribing. So one of the first things that I want to talk about is my caffeine addiction. It's real. Um, I don't want to fix it. It's one of my very few vices that I have left. Um, and, 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 and I love it. I love caffeine in all forms. Coffee, I've had about eight cups today. I'm also working on a Mountain Dew in the background. It's so good. It's delicious. And maybe you don't think so. That's okay too. Have at it. Do what you do. One of the things that I am trying really desperately to do is to stop drinking coffee shop coffee because I love it. Um, but it is very, very expensive. It really does not benefit me in the long run, especially since I think that I can most of the time match the quality, um, if not all of the ingredients. So what i have been working on is a dutch brothers coffee cat recipe for an iced mocha my very favorite drink at dutch brothers is a kokomo it's a co coconut mocha um, i like to drink my coffee hot in the morning and iced in the afternoon because even now in the desert southwest it is probably 62 or 63 and these were some of our coldest days this week um, so I like iced coffee in the afternoon and iced mocha sounds delicious and let's get to it. Move you over here a little bit. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so I have a big pitcher here, a little glass measuring dish, bowl. It's pretty large. It's going to hold, oh, it could hold up to two quarts. We've got plenty. Got a measuring cup and I have already brewed a pot of very strong coffee and it is hot so I'm just going to go ahead and pour this into my two quart measuring cup I think it's about 10 cups there we go If you don't have a Dutch Brothers near you, Dutch Brothers is a chain out of the Pacific Northwest. They, um, most of their drinks are um, chocolate milk based, which is absolutely phenomenal. And their chocolate milk is so rich and so delicious. It does not even compare to what I am able to purchase at my grocery store. Because that was where my first stop was. I went to the grocery store, I purchased chocolate milk, and then built from there and could not get the mouth feel the same um, like I said it's very rich very delicious 
But one of the things that they do that's really fun at Dutch Brothers is that they have bumper stickers that they give out on a monthly basis. So this is a bumper sticker that I received from Dutch Brothers. This is a um, plastic jug that held a lot of maraschino cherries. And so I dumped the maraschino cherries you know they were all completed and then i washed and sanitized the jar and now it's all ready for my homemade dutch brothers copycat ish kind of recipe so we've got our um eight cups of strongly brewed coffee and it is hot it will make adding all of these things to it much easier we're also going to need a whisk, but I'm all tangled up here. Hello. There we go. I'll just pop that in here. And we've got some Swiss Miss milk chocolate flavor. And I'm going to add in, this is a half cup measure. So I'm going to do one half cup of the Swiss Miss. Put this back up. Here. It also needs some Coffee Mate non-dairy creamer and we're also going to add about a half cup of that. This is two heaping tablespoons of instant espresso. Why instant espresso? because I don't have an espresso maker. I don't have room for it in my kitchen. And um, I'm honestly too cheap to buy one. And we're going to add one half cup of sugar. And now we'll just whisk this all together. And isn't that fun? Oh, it smells terrific. And we'll just give it a little taste. Delicious. But I am thinking that it could go for it just a little bit more of the Swiss Miss mix. So let's go ahead. Maybe that's a third of a cup. That's fine. That should do it. And then what I'll do is go ahead and pour this off into the Dutch Brothers jug and I'll keep that in the refrigerator for quick access when I desperately need a little caffeine pick-me-up and can I tell you that I feel like I have been just dragging all day long even though I have had a significant amount of caffeine today it just does not seem to be working and I don't think that I slept very well last night so that could be it too Now to answer the question, the everyday perpetual question of life, what is for dinner? So tonight we're going to have meze bowls or a meze platter or a Mediterranean meal. Um, really, it was inspired because I got these really great little non-breads, non-breads non um, at the fries from the discount bakery rack for $1.49. And they're stone fired, ancient crane, mini nons, and they are going to be the delicious accompaniment to the rest of our meal. And really, it's not a difficult meal. It is somewhat time consuming to prepare. Um, 
just in the fact that I like to offer a lot of options. So the first thing that I have here is some chicken stock that I make myself. Um, I try to get a discounted rotisserie chicken um, on a fairly regular basis. Uh, sometimes I can find them Sometimes I can find them in my grocery store uh, manager special section. Um, this one probably came from uh, Smart and Final at our house. We call it Dumb and May because we think that's funny. And I'm just going to go ahead and nuke this. It's frozen. I don't can it. Um, because I use it so rapidly and I make it so often. I don't know that I necessarily see the benefit in canning it. Um, it. That might be something that I do in the future, but for right now, I just make it and freeze it, and it has worked for me thus far, so I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Okay. And then I have the same rotisserie chicken. We got four meals out of, and then I shredded the remainder that was on the bone into this little bit of shredded chicken. So that's going to be our protein tonight, but boy, that looks like a lot. I think we're only going to make half of it. Save the rest for maybe like chicken salad sandwiches. Chicken soup. The possibilities are endless. Okay, so we're gonna have about half of our chicken, our frozen shredded chicken, to this crock pot. And we're gonna turn it on high. The time right now is 3.29. Um, we eat dinner every night by seven o'clock generally. And so prior to COVID, I was pretty insistent that every meal be eaten at the dinner table. And we sit there and we'd have conversation and enjoy our meal. And then you would get up and maybe relax and watch television, and go to the office and do some work, you know, whatever's going on, whatever you've got going on, whether we meet in the middle or whether we go our separate ways for a while, that was fine, but we ate dinner at the dining room table. Then COVID, and when we were in, you know, stay at home orders, and it's just the two of us, and you're so isolated, and everything on television is doom and gloom, and you're not seeing your family, and you're not seeing your neighbors, and maybe you're not even seeing your friends, um, and waiting for a vaccine and what have you, it got to be so overwhelming. So we started watching television while we ate our main meal of the day. And we watched Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune and we love it. And I not saying that we won't go back to eating at the dining room table. Some of our meals are still consumed there. Um, but we really have enjoyed eating in front of the television, watching Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune. And uh, so that's pretty much our nightly, our nightly shenanigans around here. Anyhow, so let's grab our stuff out of the microwave. I'm just microwaving this chicken broth pretty much one minute at a time until until it's all melty. I don't want to microwave it too fast because I do not want the jar to break. Um, the chicken broth really smells nice, uh, very homey and um, comforting. So that's good. Anyhow, to this, we're going to add some herbs. And to get the herbs, I'm going to run out to the garden and see what we got. So I'm going to bring a bowl and some scissors and we'll take you with me. And one of the final things that we're going to grab is some of this elephant food. 
Um, it's a member of the Portalaca family, purslane. Um, it is very lemony, very crisp, very tangy, completely edible, completely delicious. And I'm gonna grab some of that and we're gonna put that in our bowls as well. I think we're gonna need a bigger bowl. Just joking. But it just barely fits. But we've got some good stuff in here. And now I'm gonna grab my salad spinner and get this all washed up for dinner. Okay, so my chicken stock has thawed. My chicken's in the bottom of this crock pot. We've got plenty of time because dinner is not for um, over three hours. Well, three hours and 15 minutes. This is already cooked though. We're just really warming it through. And then we're going to infuse it with some of the herbs that I gathered from outside. So let's grab some of these. And then the rest of these herbs, we will probably just chop those up so that each of us can just top our mezze bowl as we wish. And then I'll heat the naan up in the Easy Bake Oven. That's what I call the toaster oven. I just call it my Easy Bake Oven. When I was a kid, I wanted an Easy Bake Oven so badly. Um, but I come from a very large family, one of nine children, and my mother did not see the point in an easy bake oven that makes one cookie or one muffin when you have nine children that are going to want that. She was not wrong, but I still wanted it so badly. So now I just pretend that I have an easy bake oven. So this is my rosemary, and I'm just going to destem this. Come on, little buddy. Okay, you're going to be that way. That's fine. Just a few delicious little leaves in here. They're really tender and not woody at all. And we'll just ditch the stem. Ah, this is my parsley. We had one day where it got to 76 degrees last week. And it already started to bolt. So I'm just going to pick that off. And because this is, like I said, just starting to bolt, even though we're only in January for that one day, um, it might be a little tough. So we're going to go ahead and put it in the crock pot just to let it roast and tender up a little bit. And it will be delicious. This is a favorite of both mine and Andrew's uh, for dinner. It's so, it comes together really quick. I just kind of take my time screwing around with the herbs and the sides and what have you. And to me, the sides are just as important as the chicken or any, or the, or the uh, naan or what have you. I've got a couple of um, green onion tops and I'm just going to give these a rough chop. Okay now I've got all of my herbs added and my chicken and my stock and I'm just going to let that go in the crock pot for a little while and I know what you're saying. Tanya what if I don't have fresh herbs? Baby don't sweat it. Use some dried herbs. Use some dried parsley. Use some dried dill. Use some dried Italian seasoning. Use whatever it is that you have use some salt and pepper um, my stock is already seasoned so i will taste it at the end for re-seasoning but use what you've got if you've got chicken that's great if you have shrimp that might be even better if all you have is zucchini or eggplant or if you're vegetarian and you've got rice or baba ganoush or whatever you want go for it just go for it. Don't worry about it. It'll be delicious. And you're feeding your family. You've got good intentions. It's a hearty, healthy meal. And it's especially fresh and delicious tasting, even with dried herbs. Okay, in my blender jar, I've got some cucumber. I've got some sour cream. I've got some garlic, granulated garlic. I have some onions and some herbs. And I'm going to add a little splash of red wine vinegar. There's salt in there. I might need more salt. That's usually the case. So not that much vinegar. 
And now I'm going to find my blender lid and I'm going to zip this up to make a creamy cucumber dressing for the topping for our mezze bowls. So it's almost time for dinner and I'm hungry and I'm tired and I'm ready for Jeopardy. So let me show you what we got going on. Okay. To our chicken and broth and herbs, I did add one cup of long grain rice because I decided that I wanted to stretch this out over two, over two meals. What else? I could not find in my freezer or my refrigerator any feta, but I do have some mozzarella and so I gave that a shred up. Then we have our toppings for the mezze bowls. There we go. And we've got some green onion and we've got some canned uh, olives that I've rinsed and they're delicious. I got these from Dollar Tree. Uh, this tomato I sliced up, diced up, and um, it is from Dumb and Maybe and I got seven of them for 99 cents um, because they were a little bit ugly. From Dollar Tree, I also got some roasted red peppers. We picked the elephant food out of the yard and so that'll add a little crunch and delightfulness. Yay, hooray. That's the other half of our diced cucumber. We use the other half, remember, for the creamy cucumber dressing. I caramelized some onions. We have a little bit more herbs. And then we have some lemon wedges. These are completely free because they are from my front yard. I grow Ponderosa lemons and they will just be a little squeeze on of delightfulness. I don't know how to make less cucumber dressing, so we'll be having some salads with this. This is a lot, but this will last us the rest of the week and then we also have a big bunch of spinach and we will just layer our plates i'll show you the end result uh in a little bit here when i when i make plates so all in all this meal cost six dollars and 95 cents and i'm gonna have it four servings tonight and probably tomorrow night too or tomorrow for lunch um, so four servings at $6.95, it's pretty good value, less than $2 per serving. I can get behind that because even at my McDonald's on the value menu, which will not fill up my husband, it is going to be greater than $2 for him to eat. Oh, and we have the non breads too. And that was included in the $6.95, the $1.40 something that I paid for those nons. So... All in all, a nice nutritional meal, lots of veg, and uh, good protein, and I'm super excited, and I'm ready to eat. And anyhow, I'll show you what the plates look like when I get all done with them. I gotta go get some napkins and the plates out and light the fire because it's not a high pollution advisory day in where I live, and so we're gonna have a little fire in the fireplace because the wind picked up and it is very chilly and almost 50 degrees. And I know you're laughing wherever you're at because it is much colder there. But when you're used to 110, 50 degrees feels very cold. So we'll be having a little fire in the fireplace and it's not a no burn day. So I feel okay about 